Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and I'm back with another video and this week it's gonna be my current favorite. So I'm gonna be showing you some of the stuff that I've been really loving for the past few months since I really can't do a monthly favorite since I don't really change up the products I use that much. And today it's gonna be some skin skincare, makeup, and some non-makeup favorites. So let's get started. Okay, so my first favorite is a skincare favorite, and it's the Halalabo Gokujun Hydrating Lotion. And I discovered this when I went to Japan because nga, since I had really dry skin, I decided to try this product since it was a highly raved product by Japanese bloggers and all the beauty gurus and everything. And I really like it because it helps a lot with hydrating your face, keeps it feeling moisturized throughout the day, and it also keeps the parang dry flakes at bay. So ayun, since I was really struggling that during the trip, this really helped with that. And good thing now, I almost ran out of it, but then they have this in Watson's already, so if you're planning to get it, it's actually pretty affordable for how many ml is this? Not sure how many oh 170 ml i think it's around 700 pesos and you only use like two drops of this and that's for the whole face so i think that's pretty reasonably priced for such a good product so i highly recommend this so my next favorite is actually a foundation and it's the maybelline fit me dewy plus smooth in the shade 120 classic ivory so it took me three tries to get this because the first one was too orange second one didn't arrive thanks shoppy and finally this one is the right shade and i really like this because compared to the matte plus poreless counterpart this one's much more natural um the finish is dewy which i really like and also has a pump which was really helpful since the last Fit Me concealer I had didn't have a pump and this one has one so ayun, it's much less messy and ha less hassle compared to like pouring some of the back of your hand and everything. So yeah, I really like this and if you have dry skin, I really recommend this for you as well. So my next favorite is the The Sim um, Cover Perfection Tip Concealer in the shade 1.5 and this one, I know a lot of people have already raved about this, but I really like it since um, I like the fact that it's super thin. I used to use the Clio Kill Cover and that's so expensive. And this one's like below 200 ata. But yeah, um, I really like it because it has really good coverage. And ayun nga, it's just lightweight and you know, all that good stuff about concealer. <laughs> Um, ayun. Also, when you use this without foundation, it doesn't really look like you have a bunch of concealer on your face. So that's a really good plus since wearing foundation in this heat right now is such a hassle and feels so heavy and it's just not cute. So this one will do wonders. Okay, I have two makeup favorites left and the next one is... The Glossier Boy Brow in black. And I really love this because it's perfect for the no makeup makeup days. Um, it just makes your brows look fuller and bushier. And yeah, it's a, a really pretty expensive actually makeup product for this small. You'd think it was only a tester, but this is their full size. But I think it's worth it. Um, this one lasts me a year, I think, since this is my second one and I have another one in stock. But... Yeah, um, this is really nice if you have brows that are already full by themselves, like you don't have to fill it in, but if you have pretty thin brows, I suggest that you'd have to still fill in your brows and then use this to make it look uh, more full and much more defined than you would like them to be. Okay, so my last makeup favorite is the Happy Skin Lip Mallow in the shade uh, Island Girl. And this is actually their latest release and I really love it because it has a really lightweight feeling on the lips. That's why they call it Lip Mallow. Um, also, it feels really hydrating. Like, it doesn't feel like yung lipsticks na throughout the day magkakrack na yung lips mo because it's super drying. This one doesn't do that. And it has a really nice pinkish red shade and I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. So now moving on to my non-makeup or skincare favorite. The first one is a book and it's called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. So 
I really think this book made a huge difference in my perspective in life in general because um, it really tells you to focus on the present and remain self-conscious and self-aware about everything, about how you're feeling, about what situations you're putting yourself into, what things you can't control and what you can't. And it's a huge help to me because, you know, at this stage in my life, I am just fresh from school, kind of. I mean, I just finished my first job and everything. So it really helps, like, with focusing on what you want to achieve and how you want to focus your mind into getting into that perspective and everything. So yeah, um, it's a pretty tough concept to describe without you actually reading it. So I highly, highly recommend this book. If you're in that stage of your life where you feel like you're completely lost and you just want to feel like everything, like you feel you want just want to feel lighter and less like less burdened by whatever you're feeling then i really really suggest that you read this book it has helped me a lot so yeah got this at fully booked also and it's 768 which i think is a good price for such a really really good book like i swear thank you Cami, for um recommending this to me i swear it's all brang. such a huge help Okay, so my next favorite is actually a video game. I can't really show it to you right now because it's in my laptop. But it's a game called Stardew Valley. And I know I'm pretty late to the party. But I'm so addicted because I really liked Harvest Moon. It's pretty similar to that one. But it's so much more exciting. Because like, you get this... I don't want to give away too much. But it's super fun. Siya. Like, I'm addicted to it in a day. play for like 6 hours. But yeah, really love Stardew Valley. You can also play co-op games so you can like meet with your friends and build a farm and farm together, fish together and everything. So it's a good way to remain connected with your friends during this quarantine period. Okay, so I have two more favorites to show you and the next one is actually pretty random but considering how fitness studios aren't open and they can't go to spin class right now and I don't have a bike, like a stationary bike, so I'm trying out these booty bands. I think I'm going beauty bands. But yeah, they're from Booty Band PH. Um, I'll try to put their Instagram in the description below. And thank God they shipped it to me during the quarantine because I really needed something that would help me work out. And this is really nice. So these are their booty bands. Um, it comes in a set of three. So merong light, medium, and heavy. And they're really helpful for like glute exercises like for squats for donkey kicks and everything so ayun won't get into much detail since i'm not really a fitness expert but i've been using this and i really love the quality and how it helps with you know activating those muscles and all of that so yeah okay so my last favorite is actually film so I've been using disposable film cameras during my trips and during like my grad, my recognition rights, and I saw how the photos turned out and I really love them. So I decided to get an actual film camera and this one is the Canon 28 and it's a rangefinder. I just really love how film looks. Like, I love how the colors turn out and how you have to actually wait before you see how your pictures look. And ayun, I, I think I'm pretty much 90s trash because I love 90s music, I love 90s boy bands, and I love film, and I love like 90s films, and 90s fashion, I'm also really into that. Okay, so I'll give you one more bonus favorite, and it's the app called r Film. So, yun nga, since I really love film, I still edit my iPhone pictures using r Films. And basically, this app has a lot of different film effects. So, they go after like actual film rules, like Color Plus, Gold, like other instant film. And I really like how you can adjust adjust the strength, the grain, the dust, and it really makes your pictures look like actual film photos. So yeah, if you really like how film photos look like, you can emulate that on your digital photos. Alright, so I think those are all of my favorites currently. Um, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking to the end. Um, I know, sobrang... Sometimes I talk nonsense now, but yeah, thank you to everyone who's 
watching this video. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe and don't forget to leave a like if you like this video and leave a comment and everything. Follow me on my social media and also I'll be placing a link and some um, other product descriptions of the products I've mentioned in the description bar so make sure to check those out if you're interested in trying out any of them. Also, if you want to, you can also leave what you've been loving in the past few months down in the comments below and I'd really love to hear from you guys as well. So thank you for watching again and see you in my next video. Bye! -bye.